First, uh, let me share one of the most pressing but uncertain issues we face. Uh, today is June 18th, and we still do not know what our state appropriation will be for the next fiscal year, which begins in 13 days. Um, the legislature <laughs> convenes again on Monday. They have announced their plans to work for three weeks, uh, clearly working on the state budget again, uh, with the latest information they have available as top of mind for all of them. Uh, ideally, they will send a, uh, a budget to the governor who will then make the decision as to whether to sign it, to let it become law without a signature, or to veto it. So um, we are monitoring that closely, and in particular, Vice President Young is uh, watching both the legislative action and also making sure that uh, we can all come to work and do our jobs on July 1st. Um, then for a bit of known good news, um, our overall extramural funding for this year has now surpassed last year. Uh, we're about $3 million, $3 million ahead of where we were um, at the end of last year, and we've still got almost two weeks to go. Uh, UH Manoa is about $10 million ahead of last year's total. And that does not include uh, the COVID-19 CARES funding. Um, using our year-to-date comparisons, which we often do, as of today, the entire UH system is up about 6% compared to last year, and Manoa is up over 11% compared to last year. So uh, as Vice President Sirmos has predicted, it's looking like a banner year for us for extramural funding. And I'll just say all of that ripples throughout the Hawaii economy on every island. Um, and now back to uncertainty, um, enrollment. Uh, we have high variability among our academic units. Our enrollment management teams are working very hard to increase yield by turning acceptances into enrollments. Uh, application numbers are very high for some of our units, but until they actually register, we don't count them. Uh, so depending on what metric we're looking at, the results vary. Um, and as I've shared before, uh, here in Hawaii and across the country, uh, families and students are making their decisions later than ever in the face of the pandemic uncertainty. Um, so we remain optimistic, but um, still uncertain. One of the issues we've been looking at is uh, trying to have a procedure approved so that our students from elsewhere, who are very important to us, can come back to UH um, without enduring the 14-day quarantine. I'm working closely with the presidents of HPU and Chaminade. We have a proposal in before the Department of Health and uh, the governor's office, the AG, uh, for consideration. And we are very optimistic that we'll be able to have our students pre-tested before they come here and then avoid the 14-day quarantine. That's really quite important to parents and students to get some certainty on that as well. Another area of concern that we're looking into right now is uh, early college, particularly as the DOE is still working through its plans for how to reopen um, high schools in particular in the fall, uh, reviewing a number of different models. Um, we are quite sure that our international enrollment will be down. And that's probably the one certainty that we have given both the pandemic climate and the political climate. Uh, all of our other campus reopening efforts are actively under our way. Um, teams are meeting on every campus and across the system, um, if not daily, several times a week. Uh, we are still on track for our goal that we announced to make a public release of our initial plans uh, by June 30th. In addition to addressing the matter of return of our out-of-state students, we are working on uh, physical distancing on our campuses, uh, classrooms, labs, libraries, dining facilities, housing facilities. We're looking at the implementation of online and hybrid modes of instruction along with uh, classroom-based instruction. Uh, we are looking at our cleaning and sanitization protocols, and most critically, and uh, early this morning I was on a phone, uh, a Zoom call actually, with a uh, hundred plus university presidents from around the country as we talked about how we'll be approaching things like daily healthcare uh, tests, daily healthcare checks, testing, 
and very critically contact tracing and isolation for anyone who tests positive. Um, we are coordinating those activities with the State Department of Health and we're also working with hotels in both Honolulu and Hilo for quarantining requirements that we may have based on test results of our student uh, residence hall occupants. Um, finally, let me update you on a reorganization matter. Um, you have asked that I keep you informed of the ongoing UH Manoa reorganizations, uh, including those that are delegated to presidential authority. And I do want to let you know that late yesterday, uh, I did approve the recommendation of UH Manoa Provost Michael Bruno to merge the College of Arts and Humanities, the College of Language, Linguistics, and Literature, and the School of Pacific and Asian Studies into a single college that will be called the College of Arts, Languages, and Letters, or CAL, and that will be effective July 1. The goal of this reorganization is to reinvigorate the liberal arts at UH Manoa with a focus on Asia and the Pacific at its core. And this is something for which UH is internationally known. Uh, we believe the collective resources of the new college will create more opportunity for students and faculty by facilitating stronger interdisciplinary collaborations while attracting more students and enabling greater financial flexibility and stability. Um, current Arts and Humanities Dean Peter Arnade will be the Dean of the new college. And I'll just say um, this has been several years in the making. Uh, the discussions began under former interim Chancellor Robert Blythe Roman and continued uh, throughout the academic leadership of um, Vice Chancellor and then Provost Bruno. Uh, I will also note that since Chair Kudo shared the ASUH resolution on student consultation, we did drop the ball on the Tim Scheidler uh, merger. We dropped the ball on consulting with ASUH. We did not drop the ball on involving the students in the consultation on this particular merger. Um, and I will also note uh, last month, the um, Board of Regents uh, received a resolution from the UH Manoa Faculty Senate in opposition to this merger. And uh, that opposition is one of the reasons that we've deferred and discussed within the administration for several weeks whether we were going to move ahead. And ultimately, we accepted the input of the Faculty Senate, but did choose to proceed. Uh, lastly, formal consultation on phase two of the UH Manoa administrative reorganization is still underway, and that represents primarily the offices that report to the provost. Uh, that was deferred until fall at the request of the Faculty Senate. Uh, so we will be working over the summer. We requested another round of feedback uh, on the conceptual uh, design for those offices. Uh, mostly they'll be called vice provosts, um, as has been shared previously with the regents. The design team is reviewing the input that we have received over the last month or so. And over the summer, we'll be preparing the documents for formal consultation, which will begin at the start of the fall semester.